blessed people of God, my cup runneth over. I am so excited. The Lord has opened the doors of the church and we can come in and fellowship one with another. This is why I can do what Psalms 96 says. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing it all over the world. Sing of his praises. Sing of his goodness. Sing of his blessings. Sing of his forgiveness. Sing of his love, sing unto the Lord a new song, for God is great, and he is greatly to be praised. My name is Minister Julia Golden, and we welcome you to another Long Branch Baptist Church bold experience in the teaching of the Word of God. We are located at 28 Boat Street, Greenville, South Carolina, 29605, where Reverend Sean Dogan is our pastor, and our motto is, we are about saving souls and solving problems. And our theme for 2022 is, I'm impact, your impact, but we are better together. Better together with Jesus, better together with you, better together with one another. For together we stand, but divided we fall. So come on, let's stand together in Christ Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come in Jesus' name to honor you, to praise you, and to worship you, almighty God. We say thank you, Lord God, for all that you do and all that you've done and how you made a way out of no way. When things look bleak, Lord God, you sent us a ray of light. And here we are now rejoicing in you, Lord God, being glad, fellowshipping one with another yet again in your name. We thank you and we ask you today to have your way. Speak to us. Give us a word, Lord God, that we will be strengthened and encouraged and we will go forth, Lord God, declaring in the name of Jesus, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. Our lesson topic this morning is God offers deliverance. God offers deliverance. Our scripture lesson will be coming from Isaiah, the 51st chapter, the first through the eighth verse. Our devotional reading, 2 Thessalonians, the third chapter, the fourth through, the first through the fourth verse, and our memory verse will be coming from Isaiah, the 51st chapter, the very first verse. May we read the word of God together, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. Listen to me, all who hope for deliverance, all who seek the Lord, consider the rock from which you were cut, the quarry from which you were mined. Yes, think about Abraham, your ancestor, and Sarah, who gave birth to your nation. Abraham was only one man when I called him, but when I blessed him, he became a great nation. The Lord will comfort Israel again and have pity on her ruins. Her desert will blossom like Eden, her barren wilderness like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found there. Songs of thanksgiving will fill the air. Listen to me, my people. Hear me, Israel. For my law will be proclaimed and my justice will become a light to the nations. My mercy and justice are coming soon. My salvation is on the way. My strong arm will bring justice to the nations. All distant lands will look to me and wait in hope 
for my powerful arm. Look up to the skies above and gaze down on the earth below. For the skies will disappear like smoke and the earth will weigh out like a piece of clothing. The people of the earth will die like flies, but my salvation lasts forever. My righteous rule will never end. Listen to me, you who know right from wrong, you who cherish my law in your hearts. Do not be afraid of people's scorn, nor fear their insults, for the moth will devour them as it devours the clothing. The worm will eat at them as it eats wool, but my righteousness will last forever. My con salvation will continue from generation to generation to generation. God offers deliverance. We get a whole lot of offers in the world. But listen, beloved of God, this is one offer you don't need to reject. This is one offer you need to say yes to. Because we can say yay or nay to all the rest of them. But we don't need to say nay to God. We need to say yes to God when God offers us a plan of deliverance. God offers to rescue us out of and from all situations and circumstances we may find ourselves caught up in that's contrary to his will. If we accept his offer of deliverance, we must trust and obey him as we are being processed. We must trust and believe, number one, that God knows exactly what he's doing. Number two, that God knows what's best for us. No matter what we have to go through, God knows what's best for us. And number three, he is a God of his word. If he say he's going to do it, he is going to do it. If he say he's going to do it, God is going to do it. The children of Israel have been taken into captivity by Babylon. Listen, beloved of God, God allowed this because of their sins, because of their wickedness, because they chose a dead piece of wood over the true and living God. God had sent word through his prophet to warn them time and time again, get it right, repent, because if you don't, judgment day is coming after a while. Listen, when we are caught up in situations that don't please God, God will send a word to warn us to get it right. But if we choose to reject and to reject and to keep on rejecting, rejecting what God is telling us not to do, how he's telling us to get it right, judgment day is coming. God always sent a warning before he sends judgment. He sent the prophet then to warn the children of Israel. And my brothers and sisters, he's sinning, he has sent, a prophet, he's sending a prophet today telling us to get it right, to get it right. Because if we continue to uh, refuse him, if we continue to reject his warning, judgment day is coming after a while. We know what's going on. We hear in the news of the singings and the different things that's going on in the world. I don't need to name them. You listen to the news, and we are very much aware of the things that God despises, that God disapproves of, that God disagrees with. My brothers and sisters, judgment day is coming at the why if we don't listen to the Lord, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. What do you mean? Nothing we can do to stop it when God sent his judgment. Nothing we can do to stop it when God have already spoken the word. Why? Because once he has spoken it, 
He can't change it. Once he has spoken it, he won't change it because God is a God that cannot change. The word will not change. What then is the answer? What is our hope? What can we do? Take the offer of deliverance. Take the offer of God's deliverance. What is the offer? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal the land. Isaiah encouraged the people by telling them to look back where you came from. Look back at your forefathers and look at what God did for them. Now, I'm not Isaiah, but I am a witness for the Lord. And the same encouragement that Isaiah gave them then is the same encouragement through the word of God I can give to you now. Take the offer, the offer of God's deliverance. Accept what God is offering us. First of all, listen, let me tell you something. Isaiah right here by being a mouthpiece for the Lord, he's saying, listen, listen, listen. Listening is a major concern that we have going on in our world today. Nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to slow down and stop and take time to listen to the truth, to listen to God's instructions, to listen to God's directions. Nobody wants to take time to listen. I understand sometimes when we are in a hard place, it can be a hard thing to do. But if we are the righteousness of God, if we are seeking God, listening to God is not an option. It is something that we must do. The children of Israel was in captivity and they were enduring some hard treatment. They were under some heavy, heavy afflictions. Some had given up, but then there were some who were still holding on to the hands of God. Beloved, always remember, at all times, God's eyes is always watching over us. And in due time, he will send a word that speak comfort, that speak encouragement and peace to our hearts when we are oppressed by the enemy. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up forevermore, for the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Words of comfort, words of encouragement. God compels us to listen to him. I know it's hard, but listen. I know you're hurting, but listen to the Lord. I know you may not even understand, but listen to God. I know you may be confused, but listen to God. I know you may be in pain, but listen to God. Listen. God is saying, listen to me. Listen. What I want you to do is I want you to listen and I want you to look back. The righteous saints of God can look back in remembrance when they are going through. God encourages us to look back, look back at his miracles, look back at his blessings, look back at his healing, look back at his deliverance, look back from the, the days of old, from where he brought Sarah and Abraham from. Abraham and Sarah were by themselves seemingly Sarah was barren, but God spoke to Abraham and told him, I'm going to make you a father of a great nation. It seemed impossible, but we know with God, all things are possible. Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90. 
and Isaac was born. And guess what? Abraham became the father of a great nation. We who are believers must look back and remember the rock from which we were cut from. The rock that we stand on. Jesus Christ is the rock of our salvation. He is the foundation of our lives. And on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. You stand on the rock. No matter what you go on, go through, you stay on the rock. God will not let you fall. God, God want his people to be comforted and to be rest assured that everything, in spite of everything, is going to be all right. In spite of everything, saints of God, we're going to make it through. In spite of it all, saints of God, the sun will shine after why? In spite of it all, God is going to fix it. In spite of it all, God is going to work it out. In spite of it all, God is going to protect us. He's going to provide for us and he will see us through. Not only do God want those who are righteous and those who are seeking him, not only do he want us to look back and remembrance, but he want us also. He want us to look ahead into the future. Yes, we have a future in Christ Jesus. We have a future in Christ Jesus. And he said his plans for us is to give us a hope and a future. But the future he want to give us is that no matter what we go through down here, no matter how hard it may get down here, our future is that one day Jesus is coming back looking for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. We will be able to live with Jesus forever, ever more in a land where the babies can lay down with the lions and not be harmed. Well, in a land, in heaven, the new heaven and the new earth, where we don't have to worry about violence, we don't have to worry about guns, we don't have to worry about abuse, but we can be with Jesus and every day will be like Sunday. God offers the plan of deliverance and my encouragement to you today is take the offer. Listen, beloved of God, Satan want you to be discouraged. Satan want you to feel defeated. Satan want you to be doubtful. Satan want you to turn your back on God. Satan want you to be weighted down. He want you to even feel worthless. He wants you to feel undeserving because these are weapons that he uses against us to have my battles. But saints of God, if we just keep our eyes on the Lord God, if we just trust and obey God, and if we can praise and worship God, and we can fast, Saints of God, we can become weapons of mass destruction to tear down the kingdom of God. Because God says here, listen to me, you who know right from wrong, you who cherish my law in your heart, do not be afraid of people. Do not fear anyone, how they may come at you, how they may laugh at you, how they may talk about you, how they may gossip about you. He says, do not fear because the day will come, the day will come when it will be all over. And I encourage you, saints of God, people of God, even sinners, I encourage you to take the offer of deliverance while you yet have breath in your body while you yet can breathe the fresh air take God's plan of salvation 
because the day will come when the breath will depart from your body and the offer will be unavailable. Let us pray. Father God, we love you, we thank you, and we praise you. We thank you for your word, Lord God, because you showed us in your word that you haven't forgotten us. You won't forsake us, but there is something that we have to do. We have to accept what you give us, and that which you give us will bless us. That which you give us, Lord God, is something that the world cannot give, and that's eternal life. We thank you for every ear that heard, and we pray in Jesus' name that we will take this word to heart. We will apply it. We will share it. We will speak it, and we will accept it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.